Welcome to the ninth video in a series that details my attempt to complete two of the most prestigious bicycle races in South Africa, the Cape Epic Mountain Bike Stage Race and the Cape Town Cycle Tour. The Cape Town Cycle Tour is a 109 km road race around the beautiful peninsula just south of Cape Town. I realized during my participation of the Cape Town Cycle Tour that there are so many great aspects of this race route that I would like to share that I would not be able to include everything in one short little video. For this reason I have created shorter, smaller, manageable videos to share my experience. In this video we start with the exit from Simonstown and then make our way down to the Penguin Colony at Boulders Beach along the False Bay Coast. I'm at Boulders Beach. Boulders Beach is about a kilometer outside of Simonstown. On the way down to the Cape Point, it's a very subtle turn off. You've got to watch for the Boulders Beach sign. And the important part about being at Boulders is that this is one of the only, if I understand, this is one of the only land based penguin colonies in Africa. These are what they call the African jackass penguins. And I think this colony has been here since the early 80s. The numbers seem to have stabilized. I think there was a concern that there was going to be a decline because of the dwindling fish resources, but they seem to have stabilized. Anybody is welcome to correct me if I am wrong and if they are actually on the increase. Um, there's quite an organized uh, viewing platform that you can follow to actually have a closer look at the penguins and their breeding colony, all the little babies and egg. There's just so much to see here. These penguins are an endangered species and on the verge of extinction. The penguins are able to wander freely in their protected natural environment, albeit within a residential zone. The penguins can be observed at close range from a walkway built above the penguin breeding grounds. This is all, from what I understand, um, under the management of South African National Parks Board. Uh, there is a small entrance fee that you have to pay to be able to access the specific um, nature reserve. How much is the entry? Um, Forty, yeah. This nature reserve is set right in a residential area and you can see the homes behind it. These homes were here long before the penguins. The penguins just arrived and decided to make this their home. I don't blame them. It's an absolutely amazing sight. Imagine if I was a penguin, I definitely would have chosen the same place to uh, come and settle down. The colony originates from just two breeding pairs in 1982, and the penguin colony has grown to about 3,000 birds in recent years. Restrictions on commercial fishing activity in False Bay has helped to increase the supply of pulchards and anchovies in the penguins' fishing waters, and this has helped to encourage the growth of the penguin colony. Well, as far as the race goes, this is one kilometer out of Simonstown, so you're probably um, just going to blink and miss this specific site. The front riders of the cycle tour will pass through Boulders Beach, chasing the 11 kilometer long Strava segment called the Argus segment number four in excess of 38 kilometers per hour and complete this segment in about 17 minutes. Not for lack of trying, I completed this segment in the humble time of 24 minutes and at a leisurely speed of 27 kilometers per hour. So if you are either chasing segments or just trying to stay rubber side down in the Cape Town cycle tour, you are unlikely to notice the beauty of this region. So I'm going to suggest that you should come back after the race and actually come and spend some time having a look at all the beautiful penguins and just have a look at the amazing sight. There's a place to actually swim with the penguins. You can actually go on the other side and they have access directly to the penguins. From here, I'm going to continue further down. It becomes a little bit more undulating. I think we go up Smithswinkel next. And then at the top of Smithswinkel is the entrance point to the Cape Nature Reserve. And I'm looking so forward to seeing Cape Point. Join us in the 10th video as we proceed to the southernmost point of the peninsula called the Cape Point, which is the next landmark along the coast 
that you will encounter while riding the Cape Town Cycle Tour. Let me know in the comments if you visited Boulders Beach and what your experience of it has been. Okay, see you guys in just a moment. Till later, bye. If you have enjoyed this video, please press the like button. If you would like to see future videos of the Cape Town Cycle Tour and related cycling activities, please subscribe to this channel. Until the next time, cheers.